Welcome to Kanazawa, Japan. In this video, we visit a samurai house, explore their traditional tea district, and uncover some hidden gems. Get ready to join us for an unforgettable day in Kanazawa. Next up, we got the Kanazawa Phonograph Museum. Not sure if we can record or not, but let's go check out some music. I don't think you have a career as a DJ. Well, that was pretty cool. It was cool. When he said we were going to the phonograph museum, I was like, who cares about phonographs? But it was actually really interesting. Yeah, it was like a 30 minute demonstration in Japanese, but they gave you like an English brochure. Yeah. Follow along and learn some history. And they played uh, like very midnight in Paris vibes music. It was really cool. Yeah, and then having jammed out to some Michael Jackson thriller and then to some Van Halen. That was me playing the drums. Yeah. Not just shaking my hands like crazy person. All right, let's head to the tea district. So this area that we're in is called Higashi Chaya. The building date back to the 1600s. It used to be like an entertainment district where geishas would perform tea ceremonies and entertain guests. Uh, but now it's more kind of touristy. There's lots of different shops you can stop in and get, you know, chopsticks and different things made with gold leaves. Fun fact, geishas in this area of Kanazawa were not actually referred to as geishas. They were referred to as gegi. The more you know. So there's a lot of tea houses around here, but you have to pay to enter and then pay to get your tea. And later in the video, we have a really exciting experience to share with you guys. So I think we're gonna skip the tea houses right now. Shall we get some sake? I don't know, we already bought a bottle. I feel like we probably should skip it this time. Some entertaining going on. Is there a jazz bar? This guy is playing classical piano music. We thought it was a bar. It's not. I think it's his home and he's just playing. It's beautiful. So we might managed to find probably one of the only shops that wasn't selling like mass produced things. Uh, it's called Noka Banzai. And we got ourselves. Oh, it's gonna take a minute. She sealed it up real good. Uh, anyway, so everything in the shop is made uh, by local artists here in Kanazawa. And we like to support local. We got some chopsticks. They're really cute his and hers and they were 880 yen each um so i think the total came out to like 13, 13 us dollars 
uh, which is a steel. And she said that they were very durable and they've tested them and they don't break. So pretty excited about that. So if you stop by this area of Kanazawa, make sure you visit her shop because she's got some beautiful things. Mm. Yeah, should we go in? It's up to you. Oh no, man, our budget is running low. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna get sucked into an $8 cup of coffee. Vending machine coffee. I think they're out of it. Oh no. What in the F? Oh no. Sam put enough money in? Yeah. It's Evan's first time using a vending machine. And it's hot, it's warm, which is so nice because it's a pretty cold, windy day here. Mm. 100th anniversary of this bridge last year. Of what? 100th anniversary of this bridge last year. Look at this view right here. We have little time to kill before our next adventure, so we came here to Kanazawa Castle to explore. Kanazawa Castle is 400 years old and a great place to walk around and enjoy the gardens and park if you got a little extra time. Update, Evan said it's 440 years old. Fail. to partake in a traditional Japanese tea ceremony. I'm so excited. Let's go. Meet our host Tomomi. For years she has been teaching the art of the Japanese tea ceremony. She is what makes this experience so special. Her passion and dedication to cultural succession is impressive. After explaining the importance and history of tea in Kanazawa, she showed us how to prepare and present the matcha tea. She also supplied us with delicious locally made sweets to enjoy while she prepared us some hot matcha and taught us the tea etiquette. Next, it was our turn to make and present the tea. There truly is an art form to this, and we felt so honored to be able to partake in this traditional ceremony, and meeting with Tomomi was so inspiring. We truly feel this is one of the most unique and special things you can do in Japan. Tomomi also has her own YouTube channel where she does a deep dive into the culture of Kanazawa. Her videos are absolutely stunning and we'll link them in the description below, so be sure to check them out. Finally, she gave us a tour of the grounds where we got a peek into a room where the traditional tea ceremonies were held for centuries.
You guys, that tea ceremony was incredible and so authentic. Like if you only do like one paid tour while you're here in Kanazawa, that is the one you want to do. Yeah, it's a once in a lifetime experience yeah. and you learn the art of tea. Yeah, we'll leave the link in the description down below so you can book this experience for yourself. And now it's time to check out the Nagamachi Samurai House District. The Samurai House was originally owned by the influential Nomura Samurai family. After falling into disrepair with the decline of the Samurai class, it was bought and restored by a wealthy businessman. Today, it's owned by the city. If you come to Kanazawa, you cannot miss this. The gardens were so impressive and peaceful, and you really get a look into what Samurai life was like. nothing to say. <laughs> so we had a little time to kill before our next adventure. So we came to Kanazawa Casa. Oh. Where are you going? <laughs> <laughs> 